Okay, at this time I'm going to go ahead and create a new SOLIDWORKS file to start our CO2 dragster project. What I want to do first is go ahead and design the necessary components I need to create my dragster car, such as my front wheels, my rear wheels, my axles, my axle clips, so I can actually put together the parts that I use over and over again with different designs. So let's go ahead and first and draw our axle. So I'll create a new file in SOLIDWORKS. And I've already got a custom SOLIDWORKS template that I call Plat Custom that I'll use. So I'll select it and hit OK. When that comes up, you'll notice some things. First of all, I've got a lot of these heads up display commands already drug out here and put on my design screen. To get to that and to customize your desktop, you can come up here to Tools. You can go down here to Customize. And come over here and raise this up and you can notice the third tab called commands. You select commands and then you have all these SOLIDWORKS commands that you can select from, groups of commands that you can select from. If I go to standard views, I can select any of these standard views and you can tell based on my heads up display I've actually selected most of these. So I can also come over here and look at other different things. Let's say maybe I want to drag this particular tool here out onto my desktop. I just grab it put it out here onto my workspace, put it in place. Well, I'm not going to really use that, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that back. So I'll put it back over here. Now, as you can see, I've customized my desktop. A couple other things you need to be aware of when creating a dragster is that you're going to be working in millimeters and uh, meters as far as your measurement system. I've already set this file up to inch pound second, so let's change that. So I'll come over here and set that to millimeter gram scale excuse me, millimeter gram second. And then I want to also check my actual document units. From here you can see I'm set to four decimal places. To change that, you can just come over here and select that. Make sure you stay at four decimal places for all of these as you see here. Now, in drawing a dragster, it's real important to understand how you're going to actually make it. If you're going to hand make it, it really doesn't matter. But if you're going to mill it on a milling machine, like a CNC machine, then your planes over here to the far left are very important. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select right plane. And I'll set myself normal to that plane. Now, I'm going to go and open up and create a new sketch. I'm just going to grab a circle, and I'll go circle by center and pull out here. Now, a dragster is, uses an eighth inch axle. The good thing about SOLIDWORKS is that it is what we call bilingual. It can understand millimeters, it can understand imperial units at the same time. So I'm going to click on this and pull out here, and I'm going to set a size to that. Well, I don't know exactly what the millimeter size is, but I do know the axles that I have are an eighth inch in diameter. So I'm going to key in 0.125, and since I'm in millimeter grams second, I'll go ahead and put the double quote to signify inches as you see here. Accept that. And now it comes back and tells me that my size is 3.175 millimeters. That's great. I'm going to check that off and accept it. I'm going to go to features. And I've gone ahead and measured my axles ahead of time. And their actual size is 2 uh, and 3 quarters of an inch. So 2.75 inches. And I'll go ahead and hit that and we'll accept that boss extrude. Let's go ahead and hit the F command, which fits everything in the screen, and there you can see the axle. Now what's important to note about these axles is the material that it's made out of. If it's a solid axle like you see here, it's most likely made out of carbon steel. So I'll come over here and click on my material not specified here and do a right mouse click, and I can come down and set plain carbon steel. It kind of changes colors a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and save this file now, and we're going to save it into my CO2 dragster directory, as you can see here. And I'm going to call this axle. Maybe I'll call it plain axle or whatever. Okay, so we're going to save that. Now on this axle, you can come back later and you can change the size of the extrude based on the actual design you come up with. We're going to stop here for now. Thank you.